right so uh, number seven we change the access channels which is angular screw access hole and genuine part is only one millimeter with a lot of a notch the problem is the we have to building the entire the tooth even though notch sometimes occlusion forces implant is failed so what we used is the preet is generic implant types and then we design correctly with the axle cad and then the, we put the the more tissue contour which is doctors a little bit more worry about it so make the full contour and um, we're trying to design it and um, so fortunately this tooth is too wide so we can make the wide okay so the zirconia case with a tie base which is four millimeter height instead of the one millimeter angular screw channels so we supporting more better almost half better than one millimeter so that's why we choose it that's our standpoint all right so let's design it and then we just mirror the uh, zirconia basis and then we center so this is good All right, so it's compared to one millimeter, which is angular access channel, and the four millimeter, which is the genetic. Okay, we're using the preet. We have a C five ten K everything, and then here is the another one, um, the big company in nationwide. This very famous company. So the reason why I I don't like this is a, is a retention problem about the the entire crown and then we had a falling apart so we after we design it we choose the the four millimeter and after that we opaque all right so we're going to polish this more so before we do that so we make this another long crowns which is screw access channel bringing in so here is the story of the cases this is the implant, which is implant side with the facially, like this, okay? So we're trying to bring it in the lingually like this. Mm -hmm. So people did not see any hole outside. That's the main purpose of an angulate access channel, which is to be using this screw, uh, screwdriver and doctor can have it. So we're going to send to doctors regarding preheat which is they can use this in the patient's mouth. Okay, so basically we made this and uh, we made two, this interesting cases, doctors make the great tissue contour, which is very, I mean, almost square. So we just little trim it after we make the tissue model. And then we have to put into the Matter. This is a live case. You see how large it is. So we made this. This is more entire crown like this, which is we are lucky because the other size is a little more rounded, just like more square types. Okay, so. This is good. So we will going to cement it. And second, why we put the opaque underneath? Because gray sees through from inside. So we're trying to make the color is better, see? And then we, even though we put the more 
high value. Okay. So we're not going to make just like tepal types, which is too skinny. Right? So we made the two actually, so we just show you the test. This is uh, without this tissue contour, the skinny, and the other one is the small square, like this. Can you tell the huge differences? So my answer is here, Gen generic, genuine, which one is better? In this case, generic is better. It won't break it in the future. Otherwise, when I use this one millimeter, you're going to falling apart. Make sense? falling apart because when I build this much, they're going to collapse it. The issue is the doctor and laboratory guy have to take care. It's not a supply company. So I like this screw retain about tissue model. You see tissue contour. That's why single tooth is open tray. That's why we're going to finish this. A really nice case though. Really good information cases. Which one is better for this case? Genetic is better. Otherwise, if I using genuine part, they can guarantee it's a lifetime, but I have to make a lot of crowns in, in the future. Thanks for watching. Well, thanks for watching my videos, like I mentioned previous video, which is the design and the final work. Um, a lot of people is asking, look in a genuine or genuine meaning a national company who originally fabricated regarding one specific types of the implant. So periodontist, whoever place the implant, either a periodontist, oral surgeon, or prosthodontist, or GP. So they can use the top of this, a botman, which is the same genuine part, is a better. I agree with that. So also they have a screw, which is a dental, dentist screw is a more better than lab screw, which is we have to use two screw, which is one screw from lab side, and the doctor have to use the clinical side screw too. But this case, as you can see, unfortunately, I have to use that cases, but I have to tell my doctors and the patient as well, because the one millimeter is not going to work compared to four millimeter, instead of the building the, the big house, especially when biting and then pop out now problem is me and dentist all right so that's why i would like to share with this kind of cases too hey thanks for watching about this video see you next time